If you clicked on this video, you probably feel like you just don't fit in anywhere. Maybe you don't fit in at school and you try not to stand out so much. Maybe people think that you're weird and something just definitely off about you or that you're just super different. Do you ever feel like you're the black sheep of your family? And it's just like you try not to indulge in drama. You try to take the high road all the time. But there's a lot of toxic people around you who just don't like you. And you're like, why don't they like me? I literally don't try to get into any drama. I literally try to stay to myself. I choose peace instead of all of that drama. And I like to take the high road. I really don't like to be involved in anything negative or talking about people. I'm just trying to live my best life and focus on God. If that sounds a lot like you, you will gain a lot from this video. We be too fascinated with money. Chasing dollars but don't have the credit. Get some knowledge and learn how to get it. You can't have it, but what about spirit? This whole country but godless with systems to go against everything that is proficient. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. I am Key Loves God. I help uplift, encourage, and inspire others on how to be made in his image and on how to be the best versions of yourselves. And in today's video, I am going to be covering why people probably really don't like you. Now, as I mentioned previously in this video, you guys, this video is not going to be for every single person. This video is for people who love God, who are trying to walk in their purpose, who are literally trying to figure out why people don't like them. Or you go around people and it's just like everybody just kind of scatters. Or you're walking, people see you coming, and they're like, oh, here, here they come. And they just leave. And you're like... Why don't people like me? What's up with me? Am I that different? Am I so bad that you just don't want to be around me? Like, what is this about? That is because your light literally irritates their demons. Your spirit irritates their demons. Now, I'm going to get into that more into the video, but I really just wanted to let you guys know that that is what I just stated is what I'm going to be discussing in this video. And if that is not something that sounds like you, then again, this may not be for you. Because I know that there are a lot of people that people don't like. And some people might have the, a reason not to like you. And um, that could just be because you like to start drama. That could be because, you know, maybe you just don't like yourself and you're projecting that negativity onto other people. So I wanted to really be clear on that. In the beginning of this video so let's begin so it's life not to like others or for others not to like us and there are some that we may even view as enemies that is a part of life you guys we are not always going to be everybody's cup of tea everybody is not always going to like us not everybody is going to like you okay it's just a part of life um it's just kind of what to expect um, but we have to remember that we we wage war not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that's in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. And I'm sorry I'm stumbling over my words, you guys. It is so early in the morning and I'm recording this video for you guys. So bear with me if I'm stumbling or if I'm not really getting my words together, okay? The devil is a lie and I'm going to get out this message regardless, okay? not perfect i'm human so work with me okay so again as i stated in ephesians 6 and 12 this is a spiritual war so even though it may look like your best friend your co-worker your boss or your family member it's really the spirit behind the person so when people kind of just back away from you are you going to the break room and then all of a sudden it's like you feel like people are kind of now talking about you or they're gossiping about you mind you you mind your business you're there to do a job. You're there to focus on what you came to do. You're focused on your work. Or you go around family members and you don't really start drama with nobody. You pretty much stay to yourself. And yet you feel like when you go into a room, all of a sudden everybody's on hush mode. Or maybe they're kind of just in little clicks and stuff like that. And you're trying to figure out, well, why? We are not going against our family members. This is not about your, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles. This is not about your coworkers or your boss. This is the spirit behind those people, okay? These are spirits that they may be entertaining. These could be dark spirits that they're entertaining and demons that some people wrestle with that they may entertain. Maybe they know that they're doing it and maybe that they don't. But because you have a calling on your life, 
because you are righteous, because you are chosen, because you are holy and without blame, and without fault, and you are trying your best to live a life that is higher than this earth, you guys, the spirits do not like that. They don't like that you're trying to do better. They don't like that you're trying not to argue. They don't like that you bring peace because light cannot, you know, be around dark without it irritating it because it's like, oh, why are you here? You know, just like vampires, they hate the light. As soon as it comes around, they run. Ah, you know, it's kind of like the same thing. These different spirits that you are around do not like the energy that you bring. You're on such a different level that they cannot see you. You're not going to relate to them and they're not going to relate to you. And a lot of the times these spirits want to bring you down to their level. So therefore, they might start gossiping about you. They might start slandering you. Maybe they'll start running when you come around. Maybe they don't even say anything about you. It's just like, oh, here she comes. And then they run. You have such a strong presence when you walk in. It's hard not to see you. It's hard not to feel the shift in the room when you come in. Because you have the Holy Spirit that lives inside of you. And you guys, if the world hated Jesus, what makes you think that the world won't hate you? The world didn't even recognize when Jesus was in it. They didn't even know that that was the Son of God. So what makes you think that you will be any different as someone who is a follower of Jesus Christ? So we have to remember that the real world, the real war here is against Satan, okay? And we know that Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Like I said, these toxic people and stuff like that, even though it may seem like that your boss is coming hard against you, really you are fighting a spiritual war. So you don't use words back against them that are bad or you don't try to take things into your own hands. You use spiritual weapons to fight a spiritual war. Okay, and it states that in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 through 18. And we also know, like I said, about Satan coming to steal, kill, and destroy. That is in John 10, 10. It is our job as believers to put on the full armor of God. So you have to put on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, the belt of truth, and the shoes of peace. If you guys go out here spiritually naked, the world is going to be quick to tear you down and you're going to feel just like you don't belong. But I'm going to encourage you, try not to fit in. You were born to stand out. God made you perfect, okay? God put that light inside of you to permeate the darkness. So no matter where you are, if you're in a dark place, you're in a dark facility and run a lot of dark energy, that's probably why you don't feel like you fit in because you don't. You're not meant to fit in. You're supposed to be light in that darkness. You're supposed to come and be the salt in this wicked and perverse world. Okay, so don't try to fit in with everybody else because that's not what you're put here to do. Living righteously can be very lonely sometimes because we go through periods of isolation. And during those times, God is instructing us. God is teaching us what we need in order to walk out our purpose and our calling. Before he levels us up to the next level, God is isolating us. He's breaking some things off of us. He's taking some family members away from us. He's getting rid of certain toxic relationships. He's breaking that person off of you who you've been so tied up with for so long, who's toxic, who's just reminding you of the person you used to be. And you're like, look, I'm not that person anymore. God is breaking things off of you, old beliefs, old patterns off of you during this time. And it is all to prepare you for the things that are to come. So a lot of the times you might not have a lot of friends. A lot of the times, a lot of people might not like you because you don't find a lot of the stuff that they do funny. You don't like to indulge in watching all of those crazy love and hip hop shows because you feel like when you watch it, it's just showing people how to be toxic. You feel like it's just indulging in drama and it's nothing healthy. It's not helping you prevail in life. So while everybody else is over there talking about that, you may be off to the side reading. Maybe you are going for a walk instead and you won't fit in because of those things. Um, Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 through 16 literally says, your light permeates even the darkest shadow and exposes those with ulterior motives. Second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 says, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? The dark spirits that others entertain don't like your light because it will expose them. 
These spirits like to be hidden and they know that you can see them. For you have eyes to see and you have ears to hear. You are not blinded, maybe like the rest of the world in James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. If you are allowing God and the Holy Spirit to lead and order your steps, lead your life and order your steps, Satan will flee from you. These dark spirits that are around you, even though you may not be able to see them, all the time they're there now i know me speaking from experience you can look at a person's eyes and you can tell if they have darkness they just have a very like evil look about them their faces look evil their eyes look evil even their demeanor i mean comment down below if you guys was have been able to see this kind of stuff too where you can like literally look at somebody's eyes and you could tell if they're like you know of light or of darkness these people try not to look you in the eyes because they know that you can see. It's like you can see through their soul because you have eyes to see and ears to hear. You have the spiritual eyes. You know, Jesus Christ will wipe the salve off of your eyes if you just ask him to. So a lot of us are able to see those things and those spirits do not like to be exposed. And our light does that. Okay, so you might not even realize what's happening. So you might just be looking at these things as people don't like you, but really it's bigger than you. It's a spiritual war going on. Okay, so it says here, you are not blinded like many are, and you can discern what their intentions are right off the bat. You may even notice some can't look you in the eye. We are to show them grace like our Father in heaven and pray for them. You can lead them to Jesus through your walk. Show them compassion like God shows us on a daily. You guys, when people try to pull us down to their level, try not to take it so personal. People are not happy in their lives, you guys. A lot of people are very unhappy right now. Some people are not even sure how they're going to pay their rent. They're not sure how they're supposed to pay their bills. Some people are struggling with mental battles that we don't know what they're fighting or we don't know what they're up against. And that's not our place to judge them. We don't want to judge them as believers. We have all been through that before. And we want to pray for them. We want to show them compassion, just like Jesus Christ. Show them compassion. God has shown us compassion. A lot of things that we've done in our past, we didn't deserve to be forgiven for. God forgave us. So let's forgive them. You know, just try to take what they say with a grain of salt. Don't let it get you down. Don't take their words too seriously. And, you know, pray for them. Don't let it bother you. Just know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139, 14. And not everyone can swallow that truth. You won't fit in or like what they like. You stand out and it shows through how others treat you. Not everyone will like you and that's okay. You guys have to remember God made you unique and different so that you can stand out. And one day, the fact that you do stand out is going to really work in your favor. And you're going to be able to look back over this and you're going to be able to share your testimony to other people. God separated the light from the dark and saw that it was good. John chapter 8 verse 12. So that shows you there's a division there. But one cannot coexist without the other. There has to be light in order for there to be darkness. So we need each other. There's a balance. The world loves its own, and you are not of this world, chosen one. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. And that's in John chapter 15, verse 19. If we, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Ask yourself this. If the world didn't accept Jesus Christ, why would the world or the people in the world except you. And that's in John chapter 15, verse 18. Be encouraged, sunflowers. I want you guys to know everything is going to be okay. I want you guys to watch this video as many times as you need because that's a lot of information that I took from my notes that you might have to listen to several times before something in your mind actually clicks. Use this as encouragement when you're feeling down, when you're feeling like you just don't fit in and that you're feeling bad about that. Chin up. Don't allow this stuff to get to you. You are made unique. You are born different for a reason. 
And that reason may not be clear to you right now, but I promise you something so deep inside of you is so special that other people just can't stand that. They can see things in you that you can't see in yourself. And a lot of people don't like that because they don't understand why they don't have that. They don't understand why they can't overcome the things that you've overcome or why their words do not penetrate you to the point to where you don't show up anymore. Sometimes people just don't want you to come around. Sometimes they want you just to quit your job. Sometimes they're mad that you're in positions that they want to be in. We don't always understand why. But God knows what he's doing and your trust is in him and always in him. Okay? Well, I love you guys so much. Please give this video a like if it was helpful to you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my video so you can be notified when I post another video. And I will see you guys in another one. Have an amazing day. Mwah. We be too fascinated with money. Chasing dollars but don't have the credit. Get some knowledge and learn how to get it.